Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video for today we will be again painting cards and I will be using this Canson Montreal watercolor paper it is 300 GSM or 140 pounds 24 by 32 centimeters 9.4 by 12.6 inches and it is also called press but before we start with that I will be first using this Academia watercolor paper it is 200 GSM this one to paint in the I guess the background which we, I will later on use for cutting off the butterflies and also flowers so as you can see I did pre-wet the paper and then on top adding just different colors here and there I'm using greens pink violet yellow and just stopping in here and there these are shiny watercolors so if you have metallics you can use metallics just to give a little bit of the shine to your butterflies and flowers if not that's also fine you don't have to use metallic watercolor so just stopping in here and there also sprinkling a little bit of the clean water to create beautiful textures I do love how clean water looks when it dries those platters with clean water and then on top just adding some table salt this is just regular table sea salt and just sprinkling it here and there later on I will leave it to dry completely and when it dries it will create beautiful textures while that dries I will be painting my cards as I said from this is a Canson Montal watercolor paper I have divided it into four parts and these are two of the cards we will be doing today so on the left card I will be painting some squares while on the right card I will be painting circles and I'm gonna paint my squares so they touch each other and while the paint is still wet so one will bleed into each other and create also beautiful blooms when I do paint my square I'm just stopping on top clean water again to create beautiful textures for the colors I am using same colors as I did for the background in which I will be cutting my butterfly and flowers so some violet blues pink yellow and again you can use colors that you like you don't have to use exactly the same colors I do splatter clean water on top of every square I do and I'm topping that clean water while the paint on the square is still wet so just don't paint all of your squares and then add on top clean water because probably some of them will already be dry and you wouldn't have that beautiful effect just sprinkle as you paint one sprinkle some clean water on top for the second one as I said I am painting circles using again the same colors but this time I am using green which I did not use for the previous card but still again some violet pink yellow and painting in the circles not all of the circles are same size some are a little bit bigger some smaller and also I'm painting in borders to make it look a little bit more finished with yellow and with pink I did splatter clean water on top for each circle I did just as for the previous painting topping in a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the pink splatters now that this dried completely and my background for the butterfly and flowers they dry completely I'm just removing the salt make sure that your paper is completely dry before you move your, remove your salt because otherwise it will just smudge it all over and it will create those beautiful blooms and I'm painting in a drawing in a butterfly right now I did fold my paper in half so when I do uh, draw my butterfly and cut it when I open it it will have the same is will symmetrical on both sides so that is how you can achieve symmetry if you're not sure if you can't really draw them completely symmetrical on one and the other side this is how you can achieve that symmetry right now I am transferring that or just drawing onto my paper for the background as I said and then cutting those butterflies and the flowers I drew I will be combining two butterflies and flowers so right now I'm just adding a little bit of the ink 
for my butterflies. I'm not gonna draw in and sketch the entire butterfly, which you can definitely do if you want to add a little bit more of the ink. That's something that you can do. I'm not gonna do a lot of ink, just some edges, some of the details to my butterflies because they are quite simple and no detailed as I just got them. So I decided to add a little bit of the ink. Same thing for the flowers. And right now I'm just going to glue them to butterflies and just looking how to put them on my cards. So with this glue gun, I am gluing one butterfly on top of the other just to make it 3D look. And then with this foam glue, this is just a glue that is not completely flat. It has a little bit of the height. So when you glue your butterfly and your flowers, they will stand out from the paper a little bit and create that 3D effect on our cards. So I'm going to glue those now. And when I glued the second one, I was just looking at my butterflies and I did not like that they are uh, going in the same direction. So I changed the direction for the upper one. And with the same foam glue, I'm just gluing also the flowers. And right now I'm adding with ink pen stems for my flowers. And you can write in also the text. On your cards if that's what you like. I'm gonna write for you on one and with love on the other one and also on the other one I did add a little bit of the border with violet color it is barely visible right now on the video but it is there and guys, with this, we are finished with our cards. I hope you liked this video, enjoyed it. If you did like it, please hit the like button and share it. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.